Hello, subbies and new buddies. Welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 guide. This is Act 2 of the Halloween event Shadow of the Mad King. So, the Act 2 is another scavenger hunt for another six set of books. Books between. Oh, what was it? 7 through 12? Yeah. So, alright. So, the first hint is when humans flee their homes of old, where their settle cannot be told. Our first area that we're gonna go to is the Gundarian Fields. Go ahead and look up the Asalon settlement and go to the Asalon settlement waypoint. Once there, go ahead and leave the settlement and go around up to the hills. You can climb a few cliffs and there you're gonna reach a ruins that has an arch door. Go ahead and use your meter and activate all of the skills until an event has activated. When the event is completed, Cashel will spawn, handing you the map memory 7, handless. This clue says that this hinterland village was home to a goddess and a martyr. Alright, so the next area is the Harathi hinterlands. You want to go ahead to the Demetra web point. There, once you get to the tombs, go ahead and go around up until you get to the ruins and you climb up stairs. Keep turning right until you see a set of stairs leading up to the statue of Drena. Go ahead and activate your skills, take out your meter. And there, the Emissary of Drino will spawn and she will hand over the Mad Memories 8, Feast and Famine. The next clue says, these old bones are caught in the gauntlet where laughing rises from sorrow. Okay, so our next area is the Blood Tide Coast. You want to head over to the Laughing Gold Waypoint. On the other side of this island is a sunken ship where is the next ghost area is. You want to go ahead and go around the coast. Once you are on the sunken ship, you should go ahead and take out the meter and activate all your skills. When you activate all your skills, a suspicious location should appear where you can click on and then a haunted door will spawn. Once spawn, kill all the enemies and you will get... C. Marshall Bennu will spawn and hand over the Mad Memories 9, Pains and Love. Alright, so this clue says that the landing at Arca struggles to fill its storeroom so it will never starve again. Alright, so the next area is back to the Harathi hinterlands and then you want to go to the Saros landing waypoint which is in the northwest corner. Once there, locate the armor repair NPC and head south towards the stairs. Go up the stairs and then there will be a room that contains both hay and a pumpkin. Go ahead and activate your meter and there will be a bit of a dialogue between the two NPCs. Rufus will spawn and give you the map memories 10, Taxel Lanterns. Alright, so this clue says green is the color I want to remember. Not the red of flames or the black in petals. The bridge, even it was green. Alright, so this is in the same area as the Harathi Hinterlands. It's actually not too far away. It's actually located right here. So what you want to do is just make your way around the Orca Lake. Go across the bridge. Across the coast of Arca Lake. Go ahead and use your scanner and find the suspicious location. Once there, there's a quest that will activate that will require you to douse the flaming ghost with water. There uh, seems to be bugs reported that the bucket of water won't work, but eventually you'll get to the NPC and then Portia will spawn and she will hand you the Mad Memories 11, Flames of Renewal. Alright, so this next clue says, Walk in cadence with King's Thorn Shatter subjects. They keep their hatred deep within. Alright, this time you want to go to Sparkfly Fens to the Shatter Keep. You want to go to the Fort Cadence Waypoint. Once there, make your way through the ruins and go deep inside the crypt. Go to the very end of the bottom floor where the treasure is located at and use your scan. Click on the suspicious location and talk to NPC. The ghost wind will spawn and head over to Mad Memories 12, Dissension. Alright guys, so now you're done, head over back to the Lion's Ark and talk to Magister Tasty. She will give you the second book, which is much better than the first one from Act 1. And if you want to know what it looks like, here it is. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you can go ahead and give me a thumbs up, that would be so great. If you aren't subscribed, please do subscribe. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching and catch up in the next one.